Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at automated grading commands inside of DaVinci Resolve 12. There's three ways to automate your neutralization or color matching inside of DaVinci, and that is using the auto color function, the color match function, or to use match shot. Auto color is accessible via the color wheels palette, and it's recommended to utilize it when in the primary spars function to better see your output. Applying the auto color is as simple as clicking on the A in the bottom left hand corner of the color wheels. Keep in mind this will not work if you do not have the qualifier tool active in the viewer. So that's made a really quick adjustment right then and there. The way that auto correction works is an image is analyzed all along its luminance range and it's adjusted so that there's no color dominance. And then the luminance itself is spread out a little bit to create a range of contrast. So I can open up my video scopes in the bottom right hand corner. I can reset this color grade and you can see this was the original image. It's relatively flat. And when I click on A, that luminance gets spread out and the colors get slightly adjusted. Now this is an okay tool and I would recommend it if you need a very rapid calibration to perhaps show a client what a shot will look like after it's been graded. But I would by no means recommend this for color correction. One of the reasons is that when we grade things using our eyes, we do so intuitively and intelligently. The software is unable to analyze the subjects of the video, for example, to recognize if the colors that it's hitting are correct or not. So for me, for example, this shot still looks way, way too green. But because the software has hit its marks in terms of the video scopes, it thinks that it's okay. And this isn't just me being difficult. If you go through the DaVinci Resolve manual and you read about the automated grading functions, the manual itself recommends that you learn how to grade on your own and do it by eye rather than using automation. I know that I can fix a lot of what's wrong in the shot just by introducing a little bit of magenta into the gamma of the image. Now that is a far more usable image in terms of neutrality than what we had before, which was that. I hope you could see that amount of detail in the YouTube video. I can even enlarge this. And you can see that the actor's skin has less of this green shine. It's starting to look a little bit more human, a little bit more red. I can show a couple of other examples that might be a bit more extreme. So I've got an image here of a forest, and it's already a very neutral image. But because what's being captured is something that's naturally predominantly green, when I apply the auto grade, it's going to do something really horribly ugly to it. If I undo Command Z, this is closer to what the image should look like. There is a little bit of warmth in the image that you can reduce, but you have to target the yellows in the image, definitely not the greens. You do not want to deliver this to a client. In the last example, I've got an image of a sunset. Now, if there's anything wrong with this image, it's the amount of magenta that's in the shadows. So if you look at the back of the tree in the cracks or in the bushes, that's really, really purple. That's almost the only thing that needs to be removed. Everything else is relatively natural. This pink tone on the snow can be explained by the light source, which is the sunset. Uh, the orange sky, same thing. This isn't the case of shooting under a tungsten light in an interior shot with a poorly white balanced camera. But the software doesn't know that. So when I apply the autocorrect on it, oh, that's awful. <laughs> So it's just taken all of these beautiful colors and it's applied this horrible pink tinge to everything while at the same time trying to make it white. Uh, that is absolutely not uh, what I would consider a neutralized image. Try to go for images that are kind of already flat to begin with. So this, for example, does a much better job on an image that is very representative of a wide range of colors. So we've got nice blues, greens, reds, yellows. And if I undo, show you the original, and then show you what's been done, that's really quite good. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.